Okay. Did you all did you all finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Um, all right, so let's um uh, let's check the answers. You see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's answer the questions then. So according to this conversation, People know no Rex products, uh, sorry. People know Rex produces clothes with modern design for kids. Is this true or false? It's true. It's true. It's true. true. Yeah, very it's good. True. It's, it's true. true. Yeah. Number two, people know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. It's true. It's true. True. Very good. Yeah, so uh, people see Rex as a prestigious company. It's true. It's true. true. Very good. It's true. And finally, people rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. False. It's, false. False. it's false. Why false. is it false? It's false. Why? Because it's not prestigious. Not 20, 10. Yeah, exactly. It's not 10, 20, but 10. 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Good. All right. Okay, any questions about this? Can you repeat how uh, manufac manufacturers manufacturers? Absolutely, yes. Uh, we we say manufacture. Manufacture. Yeah, manufacture. Mm -hmm. Manufacture. Mm -hmm. Yes, manufacture. Manufacture. Menu, menu, manufacture. Menu, manufacture. Yeah. Okay. Manufacture. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. Okay. So let's clear this. Now, I want you to notice that when we're talking about um, with the reputation and everything about uh, Rex company, we use this structure. If you notice, we are always using the verb to be, okay? So we have here is, actually, let me change the color. So we have is, 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 is. And after that, we use a verb. Known. Actually, this one's known for. The verb is actually called known for. Known for, recognized as, rated as. Okay. Now, so we have the verb here and in, um, but you may notice that the verb is a little bit different. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about right now. The, the form of that verb, okay? This is actually, um, this is what we call the passive voice, okay? All right. Um, so it says here, Contest the sentence in bold from the dialogue in exercise two and the sentences in exercise three. So 
which sentence emphasizes the doer? Is it exercise two or exercise three? So, which one emphasizes, let, maybe it will be better if I go back and I show you. Okay, so my question is, which, so I'll repeat again, which sentence emphasizes the doers? The doers are the people that do the actions, okay? And which sentence emphasizes the actions, okay? So let's go back and see. I'm talking about uh, this, okay? So, um, <clears throat> so here, um, we have, this is exercise number two, so hold on, let me just, okay, so just so that you understand what we're talking about, this one is exercise number two, okay. Excuse me. And this is exercise number three. Okay. So when you when you look at the verbs here, is known for, is known for, oops, sorry, is recognized as, Um, is rated as, when you look at those verbs, and then we look at this one, we say people know, people know, people see, people rate. So which of these two, which one emphasizes, which exercises emphasizes who did the action, and which one emphasizes the action itself. So tell me, which one emphasizes who did the action? Which one, this one or this one? So, ¿cuál enfatiza quién hizo la acción? The, the three, number three. Do you agree? I think I don't understand the question, teacher. <laughs> I disagree. Miss, uh, I think is the number two. I don't know, is that number two? Okay, so just to make sure that everybody understands what the question is, look at the form of the verb. When you say, what is Rex known for? Rex is known for blah, 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 blah. A, and then we have, for example, um, Rex is recognized as, Rex is rated as. Does that emphasize who does the action or does that emphasize the action? So how do you say is Rex known, what is Rex known for? Is two, is now four, is three. Okay, listen to my question. How do you say this in Spanish? What is Rex known for? Uh, 
How do you say that in Spanish? ¿Cómo ¿Por es qué conocida? es conocida Rex? ¿Por, ajá, eh, ¿Por qué es oh, conocida? No. Oh. No. Uh, Rex. It's, it's more like por, eh, por qué, por, it's like saying por qué razón o eh, es, se conoce Rex. O por, ajá, por qué cosa se conoce Rex. If I say Rex is no Rex is known for how do you say that in Spanish? Conocido por mm -hmm. Rex is conocido por okay. If I say um Rex is rated as right here. Rex is rated as Rex es calificada como una de las más de 10 prestigiosas ¿eh? Good. en El Salvador. Ok, good. So Rex is, está calificado como. So, does, does that emphasize who does the action or the action? The action. Do you agree? Do you agree with Denise? It rec does it emphasize the action or who does the action? I agree with Denise. You agree with Denise? Yes. Okay, so Carlos agrees. What about the rest of you? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, I agree. Okay, you agree well. Okay, the question is, does this emphasize, do these sentences emphasize the person that does the action or the action itself? O sea, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que estamos aquí enfatizando? ¿La persona que hace la acción o la acción en, en sí? Eh, la acción. Do you agree? Does everybody sí. agree? Yes. La acción de la compañía. Ok. And what about here? What about here? People know People know, people see, people rate. Are we emphasizing the action or who does the action? It's who does who, the action. Who does the action? Yeah. Here we are talking about who does the action. And we're talking about the who does the action or the people. Right? So now that we have that clear, let's answer the question over here. So um which sentence emphasizes the doers of the actions know recognize and rate the doers the people that do it is it exercise two or exercise three exercise three 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 very good exercise three okay which uh, sentence emphasizes the actions to be known for, to be recognized as, to be rated as? Exercise two. two. Exercise two, very good. So the passive voice emphasizes the actions that are more important than the doers, okay? So when we want to mention what the action is, because we think that the action is more important, okay, uh, then who does the action? Then we use the passive voice. Okay, so the act, the passive voice emphasizes actions, okay? because we consider that the actions are more important than who does them.
Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. The um, thank you. Uh, an example. Another example of this of the passive word. Yeah. Yeah. We, we will. We will just. We're just going step by step. Okay. So first, I need you to understand this part here. Okay, so, and, and this we do it in Spanish too. Think about it. We say, for example, Rex es conocido como, Rex eh, es valorado como, se conoce, eh, se, es, eh, se, um, what can I say? Se, piensa que Rex está dentro de los mejores compañías en El Salvador, et cetera, et cetera. So we're emphasizing the action, not who does the action. Because when you say, se piensa que, ¿a quién se refiere? A the company, a when, No, when you say, se yeah, piensa, the action. Who, the who's action. doing the action? Who's doing the action? Se the piensa que. People. People. people, yeah, we're people. we're talking about people, but we're not emphasizing people. We're emphasizing the action, action, the action of pensar, right? Se piensa que Rex está dentro de las mejores compañías yes. en el Salvador. So we're emphasizing the action, not who does the action. Okay. My, for example, my family is uh is we know for the most family. Uh, da, 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 uh, the action. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so my family is known uh, is known in the community for being very hospitable. Uh, okay. Okay, you know, you know the word- Is the action. Do, yeah, do you know the word hospitable? I'll write it in the chat. Hospitalario. Yeah. So my family is known in the community for being very hospitable. Um, sería también como acogedora. Um, yeah, yeah. Similar. Yeah, similar, yeah. But do you see what I'm saying? We're emphasizing the action that that people know, not 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 who, believes it, not who knows it, but the action that my family is known for that. Se conoce mi familia por eso. Okay? So, look at this. So, we have Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Okay? So, we have notice we have um, is Rex is rec rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies. Again, we have is, okay. So the first thing we have to do is um, use what? To say a sentence in the passive voice, we use the verb what? Be. Do or be? Be. Chicos? Quiero que todos me respondan, no solo uno, ni dos, ni tres. Quiero que todos. Do. So, look. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Rex is rated as one of the channels prestigious company. So, to say a, sen a sentence in the passive voice, we use the verb do or be. Be. Do. Be. 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 Good. We use the verb be. Okay? We use the verb be. Okay? Okay, so we use the verb be followed by, well, let's take a look at it. What's next? It says recognized. Pass, part, 
So we have recognized, rated. So what form is that? Is that the present participle or the past participle? Past participle. Past, past, past in the past. Past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Okay, good. Past participle. That's what we use, the past participle. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so how do we make the past participle? We make the past participle two ways. One way is when we have verbs that are regular, okay? So with regular verbs, just a moment. Okay, with regular verbs, the form that you make the 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 past participles is the same as the simple past. Okay, they're exactly the same. Okay, so with regular verbs, the way that you make simple past is exactly the same as a past participle. All right. Now, so for example, a dance. How do you make the simple pass of dance? Danced. Dance. Danced. Yeah, exactly. So we, we just add a D, right? Okay, so. Right. Okay, so um, okay, so danced. Okay, um, how do you make the past participle of, um, let's say, play? Play. 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 Uh, we play. Are played. Played. Yeah. Played. Played. Exactly. Played. 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 Yeah. Played. Right. Okay. How do you make the past participle of try? Try it. Try it. Try it. Right, so we have to eliminate the Y, right. right? And then add I, E, D. Yeah. Okay, so these are regular verbs. Okay, regular verbs. But with irregular verbs, well, with irregular verbs, the word says it, right? Irregular verbs, we can't really... We can't really um, do anything, or, or but it's a, there's really no rule because they're irregular. So some example of irregular verbs are, for example, um, no, okay, which we already saw before, right? No, what's the 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 the, the, the past participle of no? No da. No. No da. No. No da. No. 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 Very good. What's the past part? What's the sorry? Yeah. What's the past participle of take? Do you know? Taken. Very good. Taken. Taken. 
taken. Like the like the movie, right? Okay. Um and what's the past participle of C? No, no, sorry, no, no, C. Um let me think. Let me think. Brown. Rock. Rocking. Okay. Yeah, I just want I hold on. Let me think hey. of I'm just thinking of something else because I, I want I, I want to prove a point here. Um win. No, no, tampoco. Oh, okay. I start. Right. What's the past participle of right? Right. 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 Yeah, except um, it, it very good. You're you're right. Except that um, we don't say written. We pronounce it written. Or written. Yeah. Written. 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 Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, written. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's the past participle of um, swim? No, maybe that's not going to work with pass by, with passive voice. Um, look, 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 Eat. Yeah, it's can be can be read. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that yeah. works. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yes, that works perfectly. Okay, so pass, pass participle of read? Is, is read. Right. Right. Yeah, it's read. Exactly. Except that we, pro we pronounce it differently. But um, the truth is that it's written the same. Okay, so yeah, so we pronounce it differently, but written the same. So I just, I, the reason why I was having trouble finding a word is because I wanted to make a point. Don't confuse yourself and think that all the past participles end and end, okay? It's true that many of them do finish and end, like known or taken, but many of them change very different. It's very different. Like, for example, this one has a double T. It does finish in an N, but it has a double T. And this one doesn't finish in an N at all. This one's completely different. So with irregular verbs, there are verbs that you just have to add or change one letter. Some of them uh, you, um, you don't change at all. Like, uh, like read, and others of them are completely different. Okay, so that's irregular verbs. They're they're very very different. All right. Any questions about that? No. No. No, Miss. Okay. No, Miss. No, All right. So let's no, do miss. this. So let's do this together. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this activity together. So our products to make we have to we have to do it uh, into the passive voice. The first thing to make into passive voice is we have to put the verb to be. So the first thing I need you guys to do is put the verb to be. So our products is right. Is is right. Right. Is right. Right. Is? Is right. Oh, right. 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 Are you sure that it's is? Or uh, uh, is plural. Right. Okay. So right. it's not. It's going to be are. Are. Uh, because we're because talking about products. products. Our products are not our products. Is. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. Are red. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Uh, 
Okay. Now, next one. Are customer service agents? Are. Quiero todos participando. All customer service agents are. 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 are good. Are. Excellent. Are. Okay. Are. Very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have. Is. The brand. Is. 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 Very good. Because this one is singular. So we can say. And so, um, so we can say the singular form are right. No one does. Okay. Um, the company is 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 is, is. is. the company is very good because singular. And our our vegetables are are, are. 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 good because it's, oh. it's plural. By out, oh, let's do now the passive voice. Sorry, the 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 sorry the simple the past participle. Sorry. Okay, let's do the past participle of rate. What's the past participle of rate? Right, writer. Right. Rated. Right. Rated. Right. Rated. Very good. Right. Why? Why? Because it's a regular verb. Okay, rated is a regular verb. Uh, okay. because the because I read the D and the the verb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, sorry, could you repeat that? Can you repeat that again? Uh, <laughs> because it's a irregular verse because the agri is right or or it because it's it's regular because we form it in the same way as a simple past. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Next. Okay, perceive. Perceive. What's the past participle of perceive? Perceive. Perceive. Perceived. 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 Yes. Again, perceived. that's that's a regular verb. Okay. Perceived. Yeah, perceived. That's a regular verb. Perceived. Okay. Next. The brand and is in the participle of C? Still. Steam. 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 Very good. So pass, this one's irregular. So okay. the brand is seen. Okay. No. Next. No. Past participle of no? Snow. No then. No. 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 Very good. Um, the company is known as a major product producer of shoes. And finally, our vegetables. What's the past participle of right? Right. Right. Rated. Right. Rated. 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 Very good. Rated. Because that's Rated. that's a regular verb. So here are the answers then. So we have our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient. Um, I can't say the other part. The brand is seen as the leader of the energy drink market. The company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. And finally, our vegetables are rated as the least contaminated of the nation of the national market. So do we understand how to make passive voice? Yes. Is this yes. clear for everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 All right. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So in that case, guys, that's going to be the end of our class for today. Um, I'm just going to take attendance one more time. Okay. And um, even though you don't have to uh, give in your... Um, that you don't have to finish the platform this weekend but if you can if you are able to uh, work on the platform and finish as much as you can that would be wonderful okay um okay so
Let's take attendance. Okay. So uh, first, uh, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Wonderful. Asalia Bellari. Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto. Uh, I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Eliaser. I'm here, miss. Excellent. Um, Carlos, uh, today we would have uh, one on one session, so you can stay after the class. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Den Denise Alejandra. As Present Rita. teacher. Wonderful. Diana Jamilet. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Edith Adilia. Present. Excellent. Present. Emerson. Wonderful. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Uh, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Here. Wonderful. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Excellent. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Excellent. Uh, Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Uh, Sandra Yvette Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Sergio Chamorro Calero. And Vilma Elizabeth Aquian. Present. Excellent. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Um, I will see you on Monday and have yourself a wonderful weekend. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. You're welcome. Thank Good you. night. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night, Miss. Good Bye. night, Carlos. Uh -huh. Good. Have have a good weekend. Hello, Miss. Okay. Good Hello. Good evening. Um, um, how are you? I am very exhausted. Oh, but, really? But um, but well. Very well in the end. <laughs> okay, okay. Is there something that I can help you with? Is there any questions that you have about the platform? Um, I have uh, two questions. Uh -huh. um, in the example, uh, the ir irregular verbs, uh, C, uh, verb, and why we write in the in the post in the simple post uh why we write a letter n oh because that is c is an irregular verb okay so it's not regular so you don't you you don't just put a d at the end regular verbs we add ed or d mm -hmm. or ied Oh, okay. But with this one, it's irregular. So with irregular verbs, well, the word says that it's irregular. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, a, a rule. So the past participle of C is seen. And in the when when we have a irregular verbs. And I think so. We have a table uh, with uh, uh, reglas, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, rules. Uh, como mm, una tabla, eh, no sé cómo explicarlo. Eh, creo, cuando dije regular verse, eh, creo que cambia cuando son bueno uh, when I have a regular verse and in the end I add uh, one letter uh, depends the, the word and for example I can add the letter ed d or change the and change the letter Y for I, 
ed. Yeah, that's that's for the regular regular verbs. You do that in the irregular verbs and depends uh, the word. Exactly. So irregular verbs they are different. They because so, la misma palabra dice irregular. So mm -hmm. you you know there's no rule. You have to just memorize. Ah, uh, sí, creo so, que. Mm -hmm. este, sí, vi, eh, creo que vi un video, pero no estoy seguro si fue de eso que no no hay como una una regla exacta, sino que eso creo que hay que memorizarlos. Exactly. Do you remember? Ah. ¿Se acuerda usted de el simple past? Simple past, yes. Sí. Okay. Con verbos irregulares es lo mismo. Ah. No hay de otra que más que memorizarlo. Ah. Ok, son más o menos unas 200, 200 verbos. Sí, yo sé, yo sé. Pero um, son unos 200 verbos, pero no todos se utilizan tan frecuentemente. Así que no se preocupe. Eh, son más los verbos. O sea, si usted piensa, se, se pone a pensar 200 verbos, no es nada a comparación de la cantidad de verbos que hay en el idioma. O sea, 200, a comparación de todos los demás verbos, no es nada, ¿ok? Entonces, la mayoría de los verbos son, eh, son re regulares, ¿ok? So, quizás okay. vamos a decir que el 70% de los verbos son regulares. Entonces, es fácil. Pero es, hay 200 ah. verbos que sí eh, son irregulares y hay que aprenderse el, el el, el past participle. Ahora, no tiene que aprenderse todos los 200 de una sola vez, sino que escoja los que sean eh, más fáciles de recordar y vaya agregando poco a poco. No espero que en este nivel ustedes sepan todos, todos los verbos, no. Pero sí, eh, a medida que vayan avanzando en el curso de inglés, van a tener que ir recordando y entendiendo y eh, esos, esos uh, verbos que son irregulares porque esta, este past participle es una estructura muy importante en inglés. Se utiliza en muchas diferentes formas. Ok, entonces de hecho yo voy a mandar al grupo un, una lista de los verbos que son irregulares, no, no verbos regulares, porque obviamente eso ya les expliqué que son la misma forma del simple past, pero eh, con los irregulares les voy a mandar para que ustedes vayan, eh, vayan estudiando. Como les digo, no lo haga todo de una sola vez. Digamos, escoja los, digamos, los primeros 10 que sean más fáciles de recordar y que sean como los que usted puede recordar más, eh, o sea, lo que va a utilizar más, más con frecuencia. Esos verbos que son los que, los que más utilizamos. Y acuérdense eso. Cuando ya se haya recordado, ya, ya, ya sepa bien esos 10, agrele cinco más. Cuando ya tenga esos cinco más, agrele otros cinco más y así sucesivamente. Bueno, ¿Ok? Okay. okay. Uh, creo que eso sería todo. Porque... Okay. Por lo menos con el tema de how to use the, the past voice. Eh, eh, yo eh, casi siempre veo como videos en YouTube para, para apoyar un poco la, o sea, lo que nos dan en la clase. Así como un poquito aparte. Pero lo que sí tenía un poco de duda era eso. De que uh, estoy, o sea, cuando son solo verbos irregulares, sí hay que aprendérselos. Y cuando son eh, regulares, cuando, eso, cuando terminan en Y, se cambia la Y por I y se agrega ED, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Cuando terminan en E, solo se agrega la D. Ajá, y correcto. cuando terminan en, 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 en letra, o sea, en, en consonante, uh -huh. se agrega ED, ¿verdad? Eh, la mayoría solo se agrega ED, la mayoría, ah. si sí, son regulares, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. lo, solo, solo le va a agregar D 
si terminan en E, y le va a cambiar la Y por I, y después agrega ED. Pero no todos los que terminan Y, solo aquellos que terminan en una consonante más una Y. Ah, si termina, a... yeah, por ejemplo, play. Si el, el verbo play, se lo, se lo escribo aquí en el, en el chat. De hecho, en el chat le, le, le escribí el verbo sí, el, 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 el base form, el, 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 la forma base, el pasado, el simple past y el past participle. Y ahorita le estoy poniendo el, 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 eh, la palabra play. En el caso de play, termina Y, pero uh -huh. es un verbo regular. Por, no, se le, no le vamos a quitar la Y y poner I. E, e, y e, D. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en una vocal, una vocal y, ah, después, yeah. y después la Y. Entonces solamente va a ser con verbos como try, cry, lie, apply, deny. Esos verbos, todos esos verbos, si usted nota, terminan en una, en una consonante y una Y. Eh, en español, por lo menos cuando agregamos ED, por lo menos en try, que es intentar, cuando agregamos ED, en español es como que todo lo que termina en O, ¿verdad? Así como eh, intentó. O... No. Oh, oh, perdón, pero ¿puedes repetir la pregunta otra vez? Eh, el... el, el... El simple pass. Oh, el simple pass. Ajá. Sí. En, en, en español es todo lo que, digamos, que termina en O, así como hablando en español. ¿va? Pues, por ejemplo, play. Um, cuando agregamos ED, eh, ya no es jugar, sino que es jugó. Sí, pero no todos los verbos, porque en español, acuérdense que hay verbos, por ejemplo, eh, um, reconocer. Verbos que terminan ER, entonces es reconocí. Ajá. Entonces, Ajá. ¿verdad? Uh, o mencionar, termina a R. Entonces, mencioné. Ajá, okay. Entonces, depend, depende del verbo en español. De, de la... Y una última cosa. Ajá. Cuando termina en una vocal que no es una E. ¿Cómo cuál? ¿Cómo qué verbo? Uh, no sé, solo me dio... Me dio esa duda, de, tal vez... Hasta tal donde vez... yo sé, no hay ningún verbo que termina en una vocal, que no sea Y o E. Ah, ah pues, uh -huh. no, yo solo, solo se me vino a la mente eso. Ok, ok, no problem. Bueno, sí, pero entonces... no, no tiene que preocuparse porque hasta donde yo sé, no hay ningún verbo que, que se hace, así que no, no se tiene que preocupar. Ok. Mm, vale. Bueno, okay. pues eso, eso sería todo. Ok, great. Ok, well, en este caso, Carlos, eh, take care and have a good night and see you Monday. Ah, uh, ok. Good night. Ok, good night.